So you want to know how to make this kind of alerts? Then you're in the right place. Hey guys, my name is Papi Niklao and welcome to my channel. Before we dive in into how you can make your own animated alerts, we're going to go ahead and deconstruct mine to give you a better perspective on how everything works behind the scenes. Now, before we dive into that, first of all, we'll have to say that 99% of the animation that you see is actually already pre-made as either a GIF or a video. And then the placement of the text and what happens with the text who ever contributes to your stream either it's a donation sub or cheer is done by the css and html coding so let me give you an example so this animated alert is majority of it is actually an animation except the two texts which is roberto and x8 those are two pre-coded texts that you'll be able to code yourself uh, and I'll show you some of the variations of that on, on Muxi Alerts, uh, where you can actually position the month of the subscriber that has happened in the past for a couple of months, or the new tier of the subscriptions that, for example, this alert shows that the new subscriber is going to be subscribing for eight straight months, as well as the name of the subscriber itself. Now, as you can see, I separated the two of them in two separate layers so that I could actually position it according to my own animation. Now, that's all done in a CSS coding, whereas the rest of the animation is actually pre-made animation that I made. Now, what we're going to do right now, we're going to dive into the After Effects platform, which is made by Adobe, and I'll show you and deconstruct my alerts so that it will give you a better idea how you can construct your own. Now, what we're looking at right now is Adobe After Effects platform that where I construct personally all of my animations for the Twitch alerts, either my overlays, only sort of the animations that you might see on my stream or the stream of some of the people that we have on our Discord where I put all of my custom designs there. Now, I stream each and every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. You can more than welcome jump in into my stream and have fun with me as well. I'll leave the link down in the description below. Now, back into the Adobe After Effects. Here's an example of what my alert actually looks like in Adobe After Effects. So it's a really smooth animation. Uh, I made a lot of shadows uh, with all the effects that you are able to make. Now, in order for us to deconstruct it, the basic understanding of any sort of animation that you have to have is essentially the positioning that you can control from point A to B the scalability from point A to B, the opacity from point A to B, as well as the rotation from point A to B. These are the basic choices that you do have in your tool set that you can use in order to animate anything on the internet. Now, the couple of things here. I do have a couple of the pre-made animations, such as smoke, this one, uh, as well as this ball at the bottom that animates um, and then essentially that smoke fire that comes behind the ball and the rotation of my cross, which I can disable and enable here. Now, majority of these effects are taken from different animation packs that you can find online on Google and download them uh, either for free from YouTube and just typing animation effects on Google green screen. Um, and you'll be able to unload those and then essentially remove the green screen using the key light effect in Adobe After Effects. Or you can pay and get full packs from different animation companies. And uh, there's frankly a lot of them. I'll put a couple of them down in the description below. Now, as I mentioned, one of the basics that you have to learn is positioning, opacity, scalability, and rotation. Uh, I'll give you an example of the cross that we have here. As you can see, there's a multiple things happening at the same time with the main cross right here, which is the position, the scale, which are actually working together because once you're trying to scale something, it's going to move out of place. So in order to fix that, we need to use the positioning effect, which is right here. Now, what also has to be done is the scalability, which is it goes from being really small to really high up here. And this is reaches its peak moment as well as rotation the rotation wise which is it starts circling around um, and that's kind of the feel that I wanted to give this animation uh, so that it wouldn't be just stale but moving instead like the same as my this overlay that you're seeing right now on your, the right side of your screen now as we also talked before the opacity plays a big role here as it just goes from absolute invisibility to a full scale force in about 
21 seconds. And the reason why I did that is because I really like the alerts that are appearing out of nowhere and they're therefore it gives this kind of swoosh effect into the stream um and plus it gives uh this kind of adds this kind of personality into my alerts uh and that's what i kind of try to do with majority of them to do some signature move now you can do exactly the same thing as i have here and much more uh with the tools that i have provided in my discord server uh, which is going to be in the link down in the description below now this is kind of an example of how you can actually make your own animated alerts and like i said previously the majority of it is actually the animation and the second part is coding so before we get into the coding part let's recap the animation the animation essentially is going to be down to four things which is going to be the positioning scalability opacity and rotation now whatever you try to choose to rotate position scale or uh, make it a hundred percent opacity or zero is going to depend personally on you and on what you're trying to do with your animation now the second part is going to be the coding that's going to be answering all the questions that you guys have about how to position your text how to make a different font and how to make it appear or disappear within the alert my preferred choice for animating my alerts and css coding is going to be moxie alerts so we're gonna go ahead and dive into that platform right now once you open it up and you create your new alert package, uh, you'll have several alerts right on the left side. So as an example, uh, we'll go ahead and click on our, let's say, uh, sub alert, because this is the thing that I just showed you and how it actually looks like here in the back end. Now, what you have to do is you, you'll have to go ahead and switch it from a simple view to advanced to give you the accessibility of the coding part, which is going to be positioned on the right side right here, right above my overlay. Um, so I'm going to show you the HTML code first. Now, if you're inserting the video instead of the image, you'll have to use the video class code, which is positioned right here. Now, the reason why I like the Moxie Alerts is makes it really easy to understand what kind of parts you have to adjust and what parts you don't, uh, which is also a really important thing in making sure that your alerts are crisp and they're the right way that you want it to be. Now, mine is a video and not an image, so therefore I use the video code as a source of my media. At the very bottom, I have two text containers. I have a text container for my keyword, which is going to be the name of the person who is subscribing to my channel. And the second text box is going to be the amount container, which answers for the amount of the month that the viewer is uh, going to be subscribing for. That's the reason why they're separated and they are not on the same line. Now, at the same time, if you guys wanna do any texts add, adding to it, this is where you do it. You write it after the name tag. You type in, let's say, subscribed for, and that's going to be positioned right next to the name of the person subscribing for, as well as all the fonts and all the effects are gonna be taking place on that, the same string uh, as well. So the color is going to be the same, the texting is gonna be the same, and they're gonna be positioned on the same line. Now, I didn't wanna do that because my alert already self-describes that the customer and the viewer is subscribing for a couple of months. So mine just uses the username and the amount subscribed. Now let's jump into the CSS code. The CSS code is going to be answering for the font, for the weight, for the animation, for the opacity, for the positioning most of all of all the alerts. Now, as I described before that, we have two text containers. We have a text container right here, which is answers for the subscriber uh, text and the amount container right here, which is answering for the month that the viewer is subscribing for. Now, in both of these situations, as you can see, we have top and left positioning that are in percentages. And because it's set into absolute, the percentages are going to be in exact position of the alert that you're having on your um, animated uh, alert that you previously made. As well as the amount container is also at absolute and has a top percentage and a left percentage. Now, also two different texts I have different font sizes as well because uh, we want to make the, uh, the name fitting the animation a bit larger than the subscriber uh, amount. And as well as we have a text transform, which is going to be lowercase and uppercase. Um, my I chose for a visual perspective to add uppercase support uh, for my 
subscribers so that each and every time when somebody subscribes to my channel their name is going to be uh, transformed into all the capital case letters for better visual effect of the alert um, as well as we have the animation text which is three seconds to one which is when it appears uh, so therefore you have this kind of smooth transition in and out um, and that's pretty much it for the CSS part of it now, if you're looking forward to actually learning a bit more or actually using a bunch of that custom animated alerts that I've made for my Discord community and trying to find this code that I just showed you, I'm going to be posting everything in my Discord, which is called Extraordinary Society. And you'll be able to find all of the right tools and all of the pre-made animations that you might want to use on your stream. Uh, and the link is going to be down in the description below. And as always, guys, thank you guys for stopping by. It's been an absolute pleasure teaching you guys how you can make your own alerts. I'll be making more of those down the line, as well as how you can actually make your stream really visually presentable and fun to watch. Now, in the future, I'm also going to be uh, making uh, a live series on YouTube uh, where I'm going to be streaming live how I'm going to be making any future alerts. So go ahead and subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you guys on Twitch as well. Knocked one. Knocked another one.